Last fall in Southern California, in the town of Mira Loma, this warehouse was raided by agents working for California's Division of Labor Standards Enforcement. The warehouse, run by Schneider Logistics, is used by Walmart as a distribution center. We found that workers were being denied the very basic right to know what they had earned for the work that they were doing. We found that workers were being denied minimum wage, were not being paid overtime hours. Court documents obtained for this story show a close relationship between Schneider and Walmart. Walmart is the only customer at this warehouse, has an employee on site, and even pays the security company protecting the facility. California Labor Commissioner Julie Su says agents also found many temporary workers were required to show up even when shifts might not be available. And if they were not selected for work, then they were sent home without pay. And that's illegal. Sue ordered the warehouse raid after her department received a complaint through Warehouse Workers United, a labor organization that advocates for workers' rights. We have people from different warehouses. It's a good opportunity to learn that what happens in your warehouse is also happening in other warehouses. Jose Martinez and David Acosta work at the Schneider Warehouse, loading and unloading trucks. They charged their employer cheated them out of wages to keep costs down. He says his check would always come up short, anywhere from $20 to $200, sometimes $300. When $10 or $15 were missing, he just wouldn't say anything. After the raid, the staffing agencies that contract with Schneider to hire workers like Martinez and Acosta agreed collectively to pay $450,000 in fines and back wages to settle the violations. But the question of who is ultimately responsible for working conditions at this warehouse has become the subject of a class action lawsuit. How many of you move Walmart merchandise? The way it works is that Walmart contracts with a warehouse owner like Schneider. Schneider, in turn, contracts with staffing agencies that hired the temporary workers. The staffing agencies did not respond to interview requests. But in a statement, Schneider says its contract with the staffing agencies explicitly states that they are responsible for hiring, discipline, on-site management, training, determining rates of pay, timekeeping, and compliance. The company says it is not responsible for the wage theft since it did not directly employ the workers. Walmart is responsible. Warehouse worker Acosta says Walmart is responsible. He believes they just want to wipe their hands clean of the situation. But he says that Walmart is the one who puts pressure on Schneider, that they make or break the contractors. Attorney Michael Rubin agrees. He represents Acosta, Martinez, as well as at least 200 other workers who are suing for back pay damages and penalties. We know that Walmart's thumbprints are all over these warehouses. We know that there is a full-time or near full-time Walmart employee who is actually resident in the warehouses representing Walmart and seeing what's going on there. Walmart refused to allow Rubin's team to depose their on-site manager, Hector Avalos, until a judge forced them to. The judge also ordered Schneider to release all relevant communications with Walmart. And we're actually obtaining quite a trove of information that's very useful to us in proving our claim. After deposing the Walmart manager, Rubin's team decided to name Walmart a co-defendant in the lawsuit, alongside the warehouse operator and the staffing agencies. Rubin must now prove that Walmart effectively controls what the workers do, how they are paid, and how they are treated. What we need to show is that in order to comply with Walmart's demands, the contractors and subcontractors have to cheat in their compliance with their labor law obligations. Walmart declined to speak on camera for this story, but in a written statement, the company admits it is aware of complaints about the working conditions at some of the warehouses it contracts with. The retailer says that even though it does not employ these workers and is not responsible for the alleged violations, it wants independent auditors to inspect each of these facilities and that it wants to ensure that workers throughout its supply chain are treated with dignity and respect. <laughs>